Hey everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure. Vivor sent me the 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter to bring you an up close look. A pure sine wave inverter is what you're gonna need if you're gonna be running sensitive equipment, uh, computers, laptops, uh, if any appliances with motors in them, you're gonna need that pure sine wave inverter. You're gonna have your inverter cables, right? This is the 12 volt input side into the inverter. Right? You're gonna have a little pack of 40 amp fuses. This little screen protector, we'll figure out where that goes. Your user manual with uh, all the different parameters of the inverter, right? You're gonna have a remote on off switch. So you're gonna have about 10 feet of cord for that on off switch so you can operate this remotely. It comes nicely packaged, right? And the foamies on the ends. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the bag. Nice looking inverter here, heat sink right on the side. Nice aluminum heat sink body. Let's check the dimensions of this. So the casing itself is 15 inches. Okay, the with the studs on the end, you're looking at about 17 inches overall by uh, about seven and a quarter wide by about three and a half tall. You have your uh, DC connection points right here, right, with these nice protective covers. Keep anything from shorting out. There's your little lug, right, for connecting your cables and it has the washers on it so you get a nice clean tight connection there all right same on the negative side two cooling fans let's look at the interface right here up front you have 320 volt uh, ac ports here just regular standard plugs on off switch this is where you're going to hook your remote and you also have a usb port for uh, charging any USB devices and your LED indicator lights to tell you what mode this is in. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing hooked up to a battery and uh, just run some tests on this. Okay, we got everything hooked up to our lithium battery. We have a 1500 watt heat gun. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in and uh, see what the reading is on the front of this. All right, we're at 13.4 volts, 60 hertz. Uh, the output is reading 122 volts. So let's go ahead and turn this on. This is on the low. Got 900 watts. That will rise as it heats up. Let's go ahead and turn it on high. I like that you have a little smiley face saying that everything's good. Seventeen hundred watts. All right. Let's handle on that seventeen hundred watts just fine. Seventeen eighty. Handle on it without a problem at all. Okay, we have the window unit plugged in, right to this cord plugging into the inverter. All right, so we get it here. We're gonna turn this thing on. Let's see if this thing will handle a power surge. We're gonna wait for that compressor to kick on. All right, the compressor is kicked on. We're at 668 watts that uh, this thing is putting out. So let's go ahead and try this. It's, Definitely gonna overload it with our heat gun, but we'll put it in low mode, okay? We're gonna put this in low and let's see if this uh, throws a fall. All right, we're at 1600 watts, 1700. Running the heat gun and the air conditioner. Now let's go ahead and put it in high mode. All right, we're gonna kick it on high. Ready? 
2400. Definitely handling it at 2458 watts. So, I mean, that's definitely a 2500 watt inverter. Definitely working. No faults, it's not turning off. Continuous load on this thing and it's handling it just fine. So, it definitely meets those parameters. Let's okay, we have the remote control hooked up. You wanna hook that up and you wanna turn it off at the switch here. We can turn it off and turn it on with the remote. Right, 121.3.4. It's reading 122 volts. Let's check the other two circuits. 121.4, 121.3.4. Very consistent output on all three ports. The uh, little readout here is reading correctly. So yeah, the VWAR Pure sine wave, 2500 watt inverter, checks off all the boxes. I'm happy with it. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.